Toad. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the April Book Fishing. Today, something a little different I wanted to show you. I'm having an issue here with my seat. See how wobbly my butt seat is? Come to find out it's a bushing inside the seat pedestal. So I ordered this uh, box here with the spring lock kit for a base insert. <clears throat> Come with this stuff here and some glue. So I'm supposed to take whichever one of these fits, knock it down in the hole where the seat sits, <clears throat> and it's supposed to tighten it up. So we'll see if the bushings fit. If the bushing don't fit, I'm gonna have to contact the ranger and see if they have a special one for this boat or they have something besides Springfield who makes most boat seats. So stand by. break that stuff out of there. I don't think I have the right bush in there already because I can tell by the treads on it. <clears throat> Looks like it finally all came out. I'm gonna get a vacuum cleaner and clean out the middle of it but I'm gonna save this because I think I have to order this bushing and not the one I have because you can see there's no treads on this one so this may be a bad one already. So it looks like shop vac holes will fit down in that perfectly, so that's probably the best way to clean it out. Well, neither one of these sleeves fit, so I gotta go back to the drawing board, figure out what the part number is. I got a 210038, so I've gotta find out what the space is for that, because you can see neither one of these, that's probably the biggest one. And it, Still as loose as the other one. So it goes in and out. So stay tuned till I get this right. So I contacted Springfield, the company that makes the base for the pedestal, and they said I need the newer one, two one, the last four last two is four zero. I had the last two was three eight, which is for older bases and used for models prior to two thousand four. They can't exchange it on behalf of Amazon. I'll have to contact him directly. Contact Amazon. They said, sorry, we can't return it. Contact customer service. So I'm in a do loop. I just ordered a four zero and let's see how that works. All right, this is the two one zero zero three eight, which I had in a previous video. And when I busted out the center, it was uh, the wrong type. So I ordered uh, this new part, which is two zero zero four zero. Now I've got it inserted inside there to keep the seat from wobbling. And the way this works, hopefully you can see this, once that's down in there, you would slide that and then that's when you push and you lock down your seat. So mine was busted at the bottom and the seat was wobbling and wouldn't lock down. So that's the device you need for a Ranger uh, 2017 520C. That's what I got. So. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to put some glue on this and see if I can insert it. So I put some glue around that uh, glue comes with it. It goes around that black device. Now I've got to hammer it in there before it dries. <laughs> All right, so I took my mallet and I hammered that down in there and then I slide that off. And that's my new hole. So we'll let that dry a little bit and uh, put my seat in and I'll come back and let you know how it went. For the other ones, I bought these little Ranger plugs because you've got two holes up here. I got these little Ranger plugs up here to keep worms and hooks from falling down those holes and I put one in the back hole too where the other seat goes. So we'll see how this works shortly. All right guys, we're back with the uh, seat pedestal hole install. I had to wait uh, 24 hours for the glue to dry. So that's why I'm back here with uh, the seat. I'm gonna try to insert it. So let's see how this goes. <clears throat> 
Well, the seat fit in there perfect and it's locked in. You see the difference in the wobble because now it's more tight or tighter. Rather. So I think it worked out fine. Let's see how easy it is to take out. That's the pain. Yep. That's pretty simple. All right, guys, there you go. Sit in the uh, seat bushing insert for a Ranger 520C. Lesson learned, order the right part. Uh, probably want to take it out first, look at the outside of it, and that'll kind of tell you what part to order. For, for this one, it's uh, 210040 from Springfield. So uh, like the comments, appreciate you watching, and hope this helps you out if you have a wobbly front pedestal seat. You can see from the first video, this is a little bit tighter than the other one, and I think it's gonna work fine. Thanks for watching Dave Holbrook Fishing, and like and subscribe.